We have several updates regarding COVID vaccine availability issues that have been popping up for people. So the first being that several major regional healthcare systems said on Tuesday, September 19th of this week, that they're still waiting on new vaccines. So this is a distribution issue where Northwestern Medicine says that they don't have the new vaccine available and the plan is to have it at our immediate care centers and select physician offices. It all depends on how much we get. And that beginning October 5th, that they will be administering the updated Moderna COVID vaccine to patients within the recommended age group, six months and older, at our clinics, similar to other routine immunizations, and that patients who are eager to get vaccinated before October 5th should contact their local retail pharmacies for availability. This includes places like Walgreens, CVS, and E True North. And as we've stated before, uh, the end of the emergency, the public health emergency, means that it's going to take a couple of weeks for vaccines to start being available to all providers. So this means that it may take a little bit longer for you to receive your updated doses. Another issue in the COVID vaccine supply and availability is Moderna has shut down one of their uh, vaccine production plants for the COVID vaccine specifically their Lanza's facility in Switzerland, as part of a plan to align manufacturing of the shots with the lower post-pandemic demand. And there's no way for them to know what this demand is yet. This is their projection. So they projected that only 24% of the population would get it, and they scaled down um, their manufacturing accordingly based off this projection prior to seeing what that demand actually looks like stating that such a move will help Moderna adjust to the sharp fall in demand for COVID vaccines as payers cut back orders for the shots, partly following the end of the public health emergency for the disease. So again, the Biden administration ending the public health emergency is the large factor here at play, in addition to them not capping the price of the vaccines. Because remember, the government funded the development of these vaccines, our taxpayer dollars did. So putting this into perspective, I've touched on it before, but again, Moderna is producing uh, vaccines for between 50 to 100 million doses for the fall, which is less than the 17% that was produced. So they're basically short stocking their supply, only producing enough for about 12%, assuming I'm imagining that they're splitting this evenly between themselves and Pfizer. So as over 50% of Americans intend to get the vaccine from recent polls, this is clearly going to result in um, a supply uh, issue. Next, we're going to look at this article, where in Massachusetts, delivery delays may be causing longer wait times, where currently they do not have the latest booster shot. It has not been given to the Department of Public Health for the state to supply us, and many pharmacies do not have a supply yet where at some pharmacies in Massachusetts, they'll be getting them anywhere between September 22nd and September 29th. So again, the original pr projections for the booster availability for the greater public was going to be um, end of September, early October. So that seems to still be on track in the case, even though some people were able to get it earlier, like myself. Where the bigger brands like CVS um, and Walgreens, it really depends on the vaccine availability and supply, where a CVS spokesperson said that we're receiving updated vaccines on a rolling basis and the majority of our locations are able to honor scheduled appointments. However, due to delivery delays to select stores, some appointments may be rescheduled. And that's happening to a lot of people because their appointments after being confirmed are being canceled even up to two hours before the appointment. Next, we're going to look at this article where new COVID vaccines may be a few weeks out from becoming common in Washington, where they're saying again that even though it's been a week since the CDC gave the green light to the new formula, it may not reach pharmacy for some time because they no longer are being approved on an emergency basis. And that the end of the emergency means it's going to take a couple weeks for vaccines to start being available to all provider. So this means it will take a little bit longer for you to receive your updated doses. And then we have this one on insurances, where the title is saying, yes, the updated COVID vaccine is covered by Medicare and most insurance. However, despite that, uh, people have gone to CVS and gotten their updated shot, but was told it wasn't covered by their Medicare plans. And this is largely because some payers, the insurance companies, are still updating their systems in addition to um, the actual pharmacies themselves uh, syncing their systems with the updated insurance codes. So if this happens to you, you should follow up with the pharmacy and with your insurance company to get a reimbursement for the vaccine. So make sure you're saving those receipts. And if you're on Medicare, the website says COVID vaccines fall into the category of preventative services covered by Part B. So that is the line that you should be using. 
and that people with Medicare Advantage should contact their plan for details. It's really important that you get an in-network provider. It should be free if you have an in-network provider, but you might have to pay if it's outside your network. If there are issues with your billing through the insurance companies, the pharmacy teams are suggesting that you schedule an appointment for a later date and follow up with them that way. And then for people that have private insurance, all insurers are required to cover COVID vaccines within 15 days of being recommended by the CDC under law. That would be September 28th, assuming that it's 15 straight days and not 15 business days. But again, you will have to make sure you're going through in-network providers. Um, I've seen a lot of people message me about Kaiser Family Foundation having Kaiser insurance. You really have to double check to make sure that you're going in-network for them. Otherwise, you might have to pay out of pocket. And again, another big factor is that Moderna is um, predicting a very low uh, uptake rate again at about 24 percent and based off of that projection internally they are saying that they're only going to produce between 50 to 100 million doses so between 6 and 12 percent um, is what they're imagining they're going to get which will likely become a problem later on down the line so get the vaccine as soon as possible